Hey everyone, welcome back to On the Fence Movie Reviews. I am Adrian. And I am Rob. So, a brand new trailer for the new Christopher Nolan film, Tenet, just dropped. And so we're going to jump right into that and we're going to give you guys our reaction. So let's start that in 3, 2, 1. All I have for you is a word. Tenet. It'll open the right doors. Some of the wrong ones, too. Use it carefully. To do what I do, I need some idea of the threat we face. As I understand it, we're trying to prevent World War III. I'm not saying I'm getting here. No. Something worse. I gather you have an interest in a certain Russian national. Mike's bring me in. You really want to know? He can communicate with the future. Time travel? No. Inversion? Name it and pull the trigger. You're not shooting the bullet. You're catching it. I've said too much. Well, we'll try and keep up. Your duty transcends national interests. This is about survival. It seems bold. Bold, I'm fine with. I thought you were going to say nuts. This is where our worlds collide. How would you like to die? Old. You chose the wrong profession. <laughs> well, that from here. Hasn't happened yet. There are people in the future who need us. I need a tenant. We need to save them here and now. This reversing the flow of time. Doesn't us being here now mean it never happened. You want to crash a plane, but not from the air. No, it's so dramatic. Well, how big a plane? That part is a little dramatic. Christopher Nolan, wow. Um, okay, Rob, what are your thoughts on that one? Uh, man, it looks so awesome. I just, like, the smile is real. I, I'm just, I'm so pumped for it. It looks, yeah. it looks very, uh, it looks very Inception-y. Yes. Um, uh, I like the whole, I mean, they said, they didn't say it was time travel. It's, uh, like, uh, what, like, in, Inversion. inversion yeah so i'm that's that's real to me that's kind of like, like i'm really interested time almost. yeah, yeah it's, 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 it's really interested i'm really interested you know what? here's the thing about nolan um which i can appreciate um aside from batman which was uh you know like a, a property right. all of his films have been pretty much original ideas and pretty high concept like the idea of inception you know with the idea of dreams and and planting ideas and then also the prestige where that was kind of like a almost like a fantasy sci-fi thriller going on there right. um set behind you know Nikolai Tesla and all that and then you got other you know other films that he had you know well actually Dunkirk I'm sorry I forgot about that one but you know um Dunkirk and then Interstellar uh you know th these high concept ideas which makes him such a unique director and makes him yeah. so I mean watching this it's like cool because it's it's like a breath of fresh air because yeah, it's, yeah. it's it's original stories it's not a superhero film it's not a comic book film it's not and don't get me wrong i enjoy those but i mean god this is original i think this is why audiences continue to come back to nolan's um films because they're original and they are something that you can look forward to I'm, i mean god i'm watching this and i'm like god i want to watch it again oh yeah well, and again yeah, and try to catch yeah, I'm, all I'm the little things gonna... there 
<laughs> definitely gonna watch this trailer again. But no, you also see um also I mean obviously we know who Nolan is and what Nolan brings to the table, but then he continues to bring in um like I forgot his uh how what's his name? Oh uh it's I know he's uh, Denzel Washington's son. Uh, um, John David Washington. Yes, like I like he's an amazing actor and then you, Yeah, he's uh, coming into his own. He's like actually no oh, longer yeah. being called well, you just called him that right I just now. Called but, him that. <laughs> but he's 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 so, he's slowly breaking away from being called uh Denzel's son to Yeah. John David Washington. So yeah, I mean, I I've, I've watched him in when when Ballers was on HBO, and, yeah. and I was just like, oh man, who is this guy? Because he's amazing, and and you know, he I don't think anyone knew knew who. And then he, was he did so a great then. job in uh, Black Klansman. Um, yes, yes. You know, so he's really coming into his own as as a star in this industry, and, and then I also feel, go ahead. No, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I I was just gonna say, and I feel like um, uh, with uh, that was Robert Pattinson that yeah. I I seen there. I feel like this is perfect because. You're, you're, this is a big movie, and I know like me and you know about Robert Pattinson, and mm -hmm. most people think of him from Twilight, but I feel like people are going to see why we don't refer to Twilight anymore when we think of Robert Pattinson. I feel like people yeah. are going to get a chance to see it in, in this movie. Yeah, th this is going to be his his precursor to the Batman. Yeah, and I think um, I think it'll be definitely great for his career because if he sticks the landing and his performance is good. You know, people are gonna say, "I can't wait to see him in Batman." Um, oh, for you know? sure. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm excited, man. I'm, I was, I mean, obviously, we this movie was supposed to come out uh, a lot July. sooner than, yeah, a lot sooner. But I'm hoping that you know uh, we get to see this movie. Uh, yeah. Close to the to the release date that it was supposed yeah, to come out. So shot with IMAX, uh, seventy millimeter IMAX. Oh so yeah, man! I can't I cannot wait to watch it. I am uh, definitely going IMAX. out to go to my local cinema once it reopens, um, watching the IMAX film presentation because um, audiences, uh, if you're watching this, if you haven't seen a film in seventy millimeter IMAX, you need to do so. I yep. know they're not readily available, but if you have a chance to go watch it. A beautiful picture. Millimeter. Yeah, it's a you know, um, yeah. I mean, I can't say enough good things. The, the score, you know, there was just you know, it was a yeah. very progressive, con constantly like good pacing to the trailer, added to the a bit of the tension, and it got me going. And uh, I like the sound that I'm what I'm hearing. I like what I'm seeing. I like the the visuals. Everything. It looks great. Yes, um, it does. Yeah, Rob, you're gonna definitely get off that fence and oh, go yeah, check for, it out, right? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> off the fence, yeah. knocking the fence over, I'd, whatever I got to do to get, move that fence out of the way to check yes. this movie out. I'm excited. All right, guys. So why don't you guys comment down below? And let us know what you thought of the trailer. Are you gonna go check out Tenant, or are you gonna skip it? Maybe wait for VOD when it hits uh, VOD. Also, don't forget to click like, subscribe, share, and um, follow us on Instagram at On the Fence Movie Reviews for all the behind the scenes content and every extra little thing that we post on that page there. And remember, we'll catch you on the fence.